Welcome all you Capricorns to your monthly reading for the month of June and we have been looking into a chakra each month starting in January. We started with the root chakra and here we are six months already into the new year and so we're up to the sixth chakra which is the third eye. So in addition to asking the creator what they want you to know around the month of June we're also going to be specifically looking at how you can strengthen your intuition asking the advice of spirit and of the creator on how you can uh, improve your intuition and any of your other spiritual gifts as well. So we're going to start off here with pulling a card from the energy oracle cards and side note any of the cards that I use during the reading are listed in the description box below. So just going to give these a good shuffle and just get the general energy for the month of June. One more time. All right, so for our Capricorns, what would you like them to know? All right, it's this one right here. And do you have appreciation? Card number 15. So I love this. I really feel like this is the Six of Wands kind of card energy, which is about recognition that you are being recognized by spirit on all the work that you've done, all the steps that you've taken to clear away old thoughts and limiting beliefs that have really allowed you to get to this threshold of expanding your intuition, expanding your spiritual gifts, and just expanding your life during the month of June. Let me take a look here and see what other energies come with this. This is about choosing gratitude as well. So this card shows a woman holding a single rose and she enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom. Yet around and behind her are bramble bushes. She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in the prickly branches or difficulty. Instead, she's pausing to experience the blessings of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card is telling you that you have much to be grateful for and like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there's more to come that you can't yet see. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and more riches of life to you love it yeah so definitely there's this appreciation and this gratitude from spirit and like i mentioned the them uh, making sure you're aware that they are aware of that and i kind of feel like What's brought you to this place is you have purposely chose an attitude of gratitude around so many things. You know, like I said, you have all these bramble bushes, these thorns and different things that have been around you, especially over these last few years, right? <laughs> At least a couple of years and you have been uh, learned through it all to focus on what you are wanting to expand in your life. And so this is a beautiful start for your reading. If you are new to my channel, I also each month take a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And the major arcana are like this card, which represents the overall energy for the month. So we will give these a good shuffle and see what else the creator wants you to know about your month of June and your gifts and your intuition. All right, they said that's enough. So for our Capricorns, what else would you like them to know about their month of June, please? All right, they want this one right here. And you've got the number six, love. So you have 15, five plus one is six, and then you have six again, month of June six. But the lovers here, or the love card, is about emotional choices coming up for you. You're gonna have the two choices, the two towers there, if these two places that you can choose from, uh, from a place of unconditional love of the higher realm or gratitude, right? Or a place of fear of losing the conditional love, the lack. So there is very much this choice Choice of uh, you know choosing an emotional gratitude and abundance and focusing on what you have in your life being grateful for it and that will grow 
or focusing on the lack and the fearful side which will grow that instead so there is this awareness that you're at, standing at this place of two things that you can choose and it's totally up to you have that power there's no right or wrong you come here to experience you come here for this journey so the options that are being brought for you here are so that you're aware that if you choose something and you're not uh enjoying it you don't you're bored of it you don't want to feel that way anymore that you're not trapped that you always have another option another choice that can be made and we of course will get clarification here as we go into the four minor arcana and the four minor arcana the suits represent four different areas of your human experience and we're going to start off with the fire element which is normally the wands suit in the standard tarot and this one they actually do call it fire and that represents your passion your drive your ambition your energy and so this is going to be what the creator wants you to know about your energetic adventure during the month of june so what do you want Capricorns to know about their energetic adventure? Okay, they do want that one. And you've got the Five of Fire. So the Five of Fire, or the Five of Wands, is very much a change in perspective and change in your point of view on things. Um, that's what the Fives are. It's about change. It's about seeing things differently. It starts off, usually there it shows like five wands or five staves and people are fighting. It's like this conflict that we see and we're like, oh my God, they're trying to hurt one another. What's going on here? And so we, um, you know, see that starting like a little kung fu movie where they're all fighting and, and uh, going at, after each other. You know, almost it looks like they're trying to hurt one another, but eventually it gets down to where there's one standing, barely standing, the other four exhausted uh, down on the ground, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, they bust up laughing. They all help each other up, they put their staffs away, and then they all walk buddy buddy down the path back to the monastery area where they go into the mess hall and eat them together and have a meal and you realize oh so what we thought was a choice you know like like so the two different perspectives here there was this place of fear conflict they're trying to hurt one another and then you realize it's all about love that they are friends that they care about each other so much that they are willing to exert all that energy to help each other build up their skills and so it's for them and so there is this transformation that moves from conflict to a loving act instead something of anger and revenge to to still love and uh, giving instead. So I love that that's coming in here because this is like these choices that you've been seeing here. We're also gonna get more clarification to this Return of Spirit deck here. And just see what else the creator wants you to know about that energy, your energy adventure. All right, so what else for our Capricorns, please? Okay, they do want that one right there. And you have voice. These are like vocal cords when you look at them there. And I love that it's purple too. So it's about voicing your <laughs> higher voice, actually using your vocal cords and the vibration of your vocal cords to speak out, to share messages of love from above, to share your gift. So to bring out, it's like you have a song that needs to be sung from within, right? And this is about uh, allowing yourself to do that, converting that energy from why you're doing it. Um, you know, we can sometimes look outside of ourselves for validation and go, you know, even like doing these videos, you know, um, I can tell when I start to care about how many likes is it going to get? Is my channel going to grow? Blah, 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 blah. That definitely takes it into that fear mode and, and it feels lack and it feels uh, compared to filling up with the love from above and just letting it flow out and not caring what impact you know the video makes on all the st statistics it's about just sharing the love and sharing the messages that's like the dream right and so you have this change that happens in your voice and how you're bringing it forward and i do want to read 
from this book as well because I love how Shirley Harness, she's the author of these, how she presents things. It says, let your voice be heard. You are a beautiful and wise being of the divine, made to bring forth your individual truth and expression. No more, I'm sorry, no more holding back, no more staying small. You're being called now to use the gift of your words and the power of your voice. What you have to say is important. What you have to share is needed. You could be finding yourself being asked to step out in front of groups to talk. No, don't panic. <laughs> or you may be finding that situations keep coming up where you're being given an opportunity to be vocal about what you think, believe, or feel. For many of us, this does not come easily. Often, we have had past experiences which discouraged us from expressing ourselves openly. It's time to begin to heal those old understandings and allow yourself to be seen and heard. Each of us has a unique expression, whether you are being asked to sing, to chant, to pray, to speak, or teach, it is your voice that needs to be heard. This can also be related to simply stating what is true for you in your relationships. It could involve stating your point of view, needs, or desires, regardless of how different they may be. It's time to remember who you are. You are a spark of God, of the Creator, of the universe. Stand up for yourself. Stand tall in what you believe. Speak from your heart and your words will always be heard. Your voice is a gift and it is meant to be shared. You're about to empower yourself in a way that you have not experienced before. You will notice that by taking this step of being vocal, you fall more into alignment of what you are really here to do. Wow, I love it. And that makes sense with this too, right? speak w uh, with love and this appreciation that's why they were showing me the six of wands because that is you know basically um this appreciation this um uh, the, what's the word i'm looking for recognition and it's being recognized both by have the heavens but this is also about being recognized for the loving messages and the voice that you're sharing so i am loving that now, where this is your energy, uh, we're also going to talk about your mind and your heart here in a moment, but those three are all about the inner workings, right? This next one is the element of earth or pentacles or coins in the standard tarot. This represents the outside world. So this is your body, um, everything else out on that stage, which would be, you know, the characters that are involved in your life, the props, you know, your possessions, your money, all that stuff that's going on outside of you in the physical world. So this is what the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of June. So for our Capricorns, actually, they do want that one right there. And you've got the Ace of Earth or the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about new opportunities being open and coming your way in the physical world. So you are having this gift. There's new abundance, new wholeness, new completeness in the outside world coming for you. But really, I feel for you, this is like this new opportunities that are coming, like this one said, that opportunities will be coming your way for you to express yourself, to express your gift into the physical world. We're also going to pull from the Elemental Oracle. That's very cut and dry there. Not much more I can say. But let me pull from the Elemental Oracle and see what else they want you to know about this physical part of your adventure. So for our Capricorns, what do you want them to know about their physical adventure? Okay, we do want to that one there. And you have connection, the biome. <laughs> so, hmm, connection in the outside world. I wonder what that's all about. And it is a power number 44. So very much a significant impact in the outside world. <laughs> and I believe the biome has to do with 
uh, interactions and this interdependency, but let's take a look here because it is connection. Yeah, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. You are asked for synergy at present. Be aware of the needs of others. You are a part of the same whole. So consider working more closely with your community. Biomes are not ecosystems. They contain ecosystems. They are large areas of the earth based on temperature by altitude and latitude, climate, relief, geology, soils, and vegetation. A biome contains animals and plants, bacteria, and people. In fact, everything that is within and connected within that space. So biomes can take up both small and large geographical areas. <laughs> Some ancient cultures, such as the Greeks, thought that the earth was alive as a being that had awareness, and therefore all parts of it were important to the whole. The definition is morphine yet again, as a human microbiome could be an individual person's skin. Everyone has a skin full of bacteria, fungi, skin cells, water, and other debris that form a unique skin biome. We are, in fact, made of biomes. So biomes on Earth fit together like a giant jigsaw puzzle or patchwork quilt. The health of one can affect the health of another. And this element happens to be Earth as well, which is what we're talking about here. So I really feel this connectiveness. This is about recognizing the impact your voice can have in the external world and that you're here on purpose for a purpose. You're not an extra piece, an extra part that shouldn't be. You are a part of the biome of whatever area, whatever you know environment that you are being brought into. It's on purpose for a purpose. So I love that. And then we're moving into the air element, which is the sword suit normally in the standard tarot. And this represents your mind. So it's your thoughts, it's your beliefs, it's your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. This will be your mental adventure for the month of June, what the creator wants you to know about it. And for our Capricorns, what do you want them to know about their mental adventure? And of course, you are an earth element, so this is perfect for you. Yeah, you have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is, it's a good card to have because this is about letting go of those old ways of thinking. The Tens are endings and new beginnings, and the Ten of Swords usually has someone like face down in like the dirt, in the sand, and they have their 10 swords that are stuck in their back because those swords are all the expectations. So there's a small T truce of the human. You know, we're talking about those based on the fears. And so this, especially above the um, lover's card here about you making choices, this is showing that you're moving beyond those fear-based beliefs about yourself and others in the world and you're moving into these connection to the capital t truths of the higher realm you're choosing this thing of love so this voice that you're giving this information that you're sharing with the world or with your environment with your biome you are uh, it's not based on the fear of the human way of looking at things, all those supposed to be's and shoulds and need to's and have to's. You're speaking from a place of unconditional love, which is of the capital T truth. So you are moving beyond this old way of thinking into this new way of thinking. And you have been doing it and you've been, but this is like that you're done and you're moving on. It's the ending and the beginning of it all um, in the month of June. And you also have the numerology guidance cards, which will also see what else they want you to know about your mental adventure. All right, so what else for our Capricorns? Okay, actually they wanted that one right there, right away. Yep, and you got nature. 
which is perfect. You are an earth sign like I was talking about, and so you love getting out into nature. Nature is going to be a very important piece of this for you, especially getting out of your, your thoughts. Um, whenever you feel yourself being drawn into the fear-based thoughts, the old way of looking at things, get out into nature, get out into your backyard, you know, get out to go to a park. If you can get out to, you know, the woods or a forest or um, to the beach or whatever it might be. And, you know, the place where you find peace where when you get away from it all you see everything so much more clearly all this the rules of you know society and all those other things you know that bog you down that make you feel exhausted you know because then that person is laying on the ground with those ten swords in their back they are exhausted trying to obey and have all those swords and all those things come to pass and that's why they're just so ready to let it go and so when you get to that point definitely stepping out into nature helps you transform that and seven and four is eleven so that's like right after the ten right so it's like this is what helps you get into that next step into that next stage so even if you have some vacation time take a long weekend get away from it all is what i'm hearing <laughs> And then lastly, we're going to move into the um, water element, which is the cups suit in the standard tarot. And this it represents your emotions. So this will be your emotional adventure during the month of June in regards to your gifts and your intuition. So I really feel like you are making this movement into this new level, leaving the old ways of restrictions and thinking behind. So I love it. All right, Capricorns. What do you want Capricorns to know about their emotional adventure, please? Okay, it's right here. All right. And you have the three of water, the three of cups. This is joy. This is celebration. And that makes sense with gratitude, right? It's a much lighter feeling than restriction right like uh, other than this ten of swords so it is this beautiful connecting to that being which you really are which is a being of unconditional love and joy is your natural state i love i was just reading um, something and i can't remember where it was at but it, it was basically saying the difference between um being happy and having joy is that happy usually has to have a reason for it you know like that would be like the fear-based all these you know we're happy when we're we think we're meeting all these expectations right but joy is just a natural state that comes for no reason at all and no one can take it away you just can have this joy so i love that that comes in because that gratitude is such a big piece of sparking us and remembering that joy and connecting to that joy that we really are the three of cups also has a very special meaning for me between me and my posse of support on the other side it's them saying hello it's your it's the creator and spirit it's your guardian angel and your angels your spirit guides your loved ones who are on the other side already your ancestors and a whole slew of beings of unconditional love and light it's them saying we're here you're not alone we're speaking to you if you raise your vibration out of the fear zone because that's a very chaotic noisy loud uh by you know lower vibration of love where you can't hear the whispers of of those beings of unconditional love when all that noise is going on but if you purposely focus on unconditional love and joy and laughter and peace those things are the vibration the frequency at which spirit speaks so when you're talking about your intuition you're talking about your spiritual gifts the more you focus on this energy you make that choice that is what raises the vibration where you're at a frequency more often where you hear the messages even more clearly than you do already so i love that <laughs> they're saying howdy and then the last card for this reading is going to be from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. And because it's the last card, um, it can still be about your emotional experience during the month of June. But we're also going to allow it to be a wild card. So it can be whatever else the creator wants you to know for the month of June. 
So we just give these a shuffle here. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> They're like, no, this is the one. <laughs> and you have realization, card number three. <laughs> so here's the key. You're definitely having this realization, this awareness that's coming about what choices that you want to make here. So I love that. Beautiful picture. And so it says, with self-awareness comes realization. Knowledge is power. Self-examination of your role within a situation is important. So it kind of talked about that in the beginning, too. You're recognizing the gift and the impact that you can have with the world. And the uh, affirmation for this card is, I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. So as we move into the early waxing cycle of the moon, light begins to shine upon the shadows, illuminating what is. This is the beginning of a powerful process, realization. When we decide to really examine our lives without fear or favor, it can be hard. This is no doubt an act of courage. We might not like what we discover after all, yet without self-awareness and the will to act upon those realizations, whether we perceive them as negative or positive, we do not get to change and grow. So the realization that we have a pattern, a habit, a behavior that is causing us pain is a powerful position. Even though we uh, may feel worry and pain around this discovery, like the bramble bush, right? <laughs> we can then take personal responsibility to change our situation since we know our current position. Knowing ourselves more completely enables us to accept ourselves more readily and to dare to love exactly who we are. And the companion stone of that is adventuring. So yeah, definitely this awareness that's coming in. Um, I just love this awareness of the focus of especially of the things that you were believing before that you know are no longer for you and you're ready to make this move that the door is opening. You have the key hole here that you get to walk through and open the door to your gifts and to expressing yourself and your voice, your voice, your voice. It's all about that you need to be heard. The world needs your voice. It needs the wisdom that you've gleaned through all the experiences that you've gone through. And when you connect with your heart and you speak from that place of love, just stand back and watch this beautiful wave of love that unfolds and these the awareness this realization that sparks in other people too because you're sharing what you've learned and i love this for you all right they don't have anything else to add to that capricorns uh, but i love this adventure that you're heading off to if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these monthly readings by each zodiac sign i also put out weekly readings weekly energy updates for each of the zodiac signs and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button that gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select the all option, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things helps spread the love and it helps my uh, channel grow in a significant way because when you like a video or you share a video, comment on a video, and especially if you subscribe to the channel, that makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy it wants to share the videos of that channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, I am definitely grateful for that. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is in the description box below. All right, all you Capricorns, as you go through this amazing month, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. 
You have an amazing month. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon, though. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.